All right, we're in older area in a little town, and uh, we're finally back at the uh, 1905 house. So the uh, the owners are here. They gave us permission, and they're gonna sit on the porch and watch us and follow us around to see what we dig. <laughs> so uh, we'll see what we find. All right, it's like I was telling Dad. I was getting high tone coming through here. Eek, 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 eek. When I come through here, it disappear. And he's over there. He's saying he's having the same thing. Um, it's getting high tones moving and they're disappearing. But we're right here trying to be careful. We do have the rags. And um, I did find the first uh, weedy. It is a wheat. Um, hadn't checked it for a day. 44. So first 44 wheat. Dad's getting close to his uh, target. If it's uh, silver, we'll let you know. All right, the last one was a wheat. He come up about six feet, and uh, he said it's another wheat. Let me see. Tell me what that other one is, too. This one is a 37. 37 wheat. That you hit back. That was a $10,000 penny. Yep. And uh, this one is 40, well... Forty something. We'll have to take it to the lab. Yeah. Forty one or forty seven. We'll process it. Yeah. In the forties. Yeah. Okay. Notice we're using good digging techniques, everybody. Got the digging cloth and your plug. Oh yeah. You always dump your, your dirt up under here and, and pack your plug down. That's what it looks like when I'm through with it. Yeah. So how about that? So uh we are at a uh mayor's house of this little town. So uh definitely wanna and it's obvious they keep their grass cut, so we wanna try to be careful with it. All right. Let you know what else we find. All right. He said, "Whoa, well, come here." So he's seen it. Let's see what he's got. Yeah, I've seen it. Congrats, Dad. You know you got your own set of people rooting for you. They're like, Surely. I like it better when he kicks your ass." You know, <laughs> that's the kind of comments I have to get. Well, you look at it. You got better eyes uh, than I do, but it looks to me like an Indian head. Indian what? freaking head. I'm sorry, I can't read lips. <laughs> Is there a fire truck running by or something? Or? Oh. Just cussing you a little bit. Gosh. Um, now that was a weird signal. 1137, uh, 1341, 1137, 1132. Once again, I've alluded the 1800s club, but you've managed to, to do it again. I think it's 1899. Hold, hold on, guy. Yeah, looks like 1899 to me. 1800s Indian. No earlier than that. I'm sorry, Dad. Maybe I'll find a 1899 something one day. Yeah, that better than a weedy. <laughs> yeah, that's better than a weedy. Yeah. Find a big one next time, like one of them big pennies. Sure. All right. Good luck. First Thanks. target after Dad found the Indian was a later 45D wheat. All right. Still looking. All right, Dad's on to something good. I heard it when he popped it out. What is it? Is it? He found a wheat, and I did too. Uh, like a 43. With all these 40s out here, there should be a Merc somewhere. And I just found that other one over here. I'm covering up my hole so good it's hard to tell where I've dug, but that's a good thing. All right, we're doing pretty good. We'll let you know what else we find. All right, well, <clears throat> like what they say when you're metal detecting, you know, always rescan your holes. I just pulled that weed out. Hold on, I'm gonna come dig that one. That one sounds good. Um, and it was giving off another signal. Recheck the hole, another 44 wheat. So that was two wheats in the same hole. So always double check your uh, holes. All right. That was a good little tone he's got. So we'll see if it's silver or something. I told Dad with all the wheats, there's got to be a Merc in here somewhere. And a good all signal. Right. I need to dig right there. More, more than likely, a, um, he's got something big. Another one of those buttons. Shoot. I hope you didn't just hit that. I don't know if I did or not. That's um, it's not like our other ones. Well, we're going to have to clean that up and see what kind of design it is. Pull a back mark off and see what it is. We're going to have to be real careful. That's a good find. It is a good find. All right, man. Surprise me. Covered. I the size of it and I thought it was something 
real. It's like one of them big penny, pennies, yeah. right? Yeah. All right, I'm gonna go dig my wheat. Sure. It's on a right. 50 wheat, and I just found a um, just one of these circle things. What are these things off of? <clears throat> Horse things or something? Looks like it was attached here at one time, but it's a completely round ring. <clears throat> if you know, let me know. I don't know what this is. Um, it's got some uh, some kind of letters on it and you flip it over and it says patent number it's got a patent number some kind of something corp or something um i don't know what that is <clears throat> nothing on the edge size of a coin guess i'll clean it up and see if i can't figure out what the the, the words are something corp maybe all right we'll go on to the next one this is what you call a big fired bullet got two rings right here and to show you it's uh just a tad over two inches so it's a tad over two inches and that's a big bullet all right hope this is silver i hope this is silver it was coming up at 11 47 it's in my hand i rode, rode the pinpointer over it and it was going brrr, so i know it's in my hand it's the size of a quarter please be something Oh my god, a freaking standing Liberty quarter. Oh man, man, oh man. Please have a date. Oh, it's got a date. <sighs> Come here. Come here. Remember, he found one. I've never found one. I thought I'd never find one. Hold on. Hold this. Something I never thought I'd find. All right, Let what me we clean got? it up. Ooh. 1926 Standing Liberty Quarter. How about that? 20 freaking six Standing Liberty Quarter. Awesome. That is awesome. I hit it. I don't care. That's, that's it ain't okay. no $10,000 coin. Well, you don't know that. What day is it? <laughs> 1926. Cool. That is awesome. I never thought I'd find one of those. My first Stand of Liberty quarter, and it's got a date. That is Super. awesome. Man, I can finally be like Dad again because he there found one. Go. Remember, he found one at the old school, and I held it about 50. No, he didn't. He found it on the sidewalk. That's right. And I held it about six times and wore the gray down about three yeah. times looking at it. Yeah, it, it was. Uh, that is awesome. It was coming up 1147. Yep. All right. All right, it's a little funny story about where we're at, but I'm not going to say that. <laughs> I needed to, we've been digging all day. I needed to relieve myself and uh, we're beside this building. I said, uh, I, said, I, I, said I need to. I said, but watch somebody come out the back of this building. Sure enough, they came out the back of the building. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So dad got two, four, six, eight, nine Wheaties. Uh, the mystery button. He needs to take this. Another one of those military buttons. He needs to take this home and uh, get that um, soft bristle toothbrush and uh, brush it away. Let's see if we can't get a design off of it and then a back mark. If he gets, I've already seen a little bit of a back mark. If he gets a back mark off of it, we'll look it up and I'll post and tell you what it is. I'll uh, put us a little note. And uh, very good shape, 1899 Indian head. Um, he's real proud over that one. Still, my 1800s coins elude me, but I mean, we've been pretty pretty unlucky our last videos. So to come out with, if we had just found this to combined nine Wheaties and an Indian head and that button, man, that would have been a great day, yeah. wonderful day. And yet there's more. So I mean that I kept kept a lot of my junk. I don't show a lot of my junk. Um, there's that ring thing I was telling you about bottle taps. That looks like silver or aluminum, but it's still got the thread attached, so it can't be that old or it would have worn away. Still got my mystery something corp uh, patent. That's a kind of a keeper. Old uh, cabinet knob, piece of lead, nail, something. Um, five memorials. I dug more, more, more memorials than he did, I believe, because I went by the sidewalk. And every penny signal by the sidewalk was a memorial. 
so I went back in the yard. Um, so six memorials, a dime, a two inch bullet, uh, nine wheats, we tied, tied on wheats, 18 wheaties combined. And I'm, uh, that Indian head was great, but I am gonna call this one the find of the day, Dad. Yeah, yeah, I'll, I'll go along with that. All right. You know, when you found one, you know, what's the third one? You know, you found you found one of these. Oh yeah, yeah I'm talking about the uh, Indian, Indian head. head. Yeah. yeah, I haven't found. Well, yeah, I did. I did find an Indian. You did. Head. I found one and then a slick one that somebody made into a necklace. But this is my first uh, stand in Liberty with a date. How about that? Both of ours was with a date. Yeah. That's uncommon. A lot. Well, I don't know how common it is, but a lot of people, other other guys, you know, you find a lot of Stand in Liberty, or you don't find a lot of them. But when you do, they don't have dates. And yeah, we've been slick. we've both been very fortunate that we found dates on ours. Yep. So that's it. Um, good day. Good day. It's a Hard great day. day. Hard day. Hard day. Hard day. Not with me. I know. I'm wore out. Team LA. I've been watching your videos. Digging deep south LA. Cajun coin hunter. We got it. We got to make that 14-hour drive. Me and Dad's been talking about it. We got to get down there to see you. We'll, we'll come down when it's a little bit cooler. Yeah. Cause I, uh, I know it's gonna whip us. Oh yeah. Of course, we're used to the heat now. <laughs> I'm not saying we're not used to the heat, we're but um, kind of out of shape. Yeah. yeah. We're not. Um, what you call it? We're not uh, conditioned for conditioned it right now. Right now. Yeah. But uh, we figured it out. I put in the addresses, and it's gonna be about a 14-hour drive. I figure it's gonna be at least three days. A day there, a day digging, and a day back. But we'll see what we can do. Oh, yeah. All right. Look forward to everybody's videos, and thank you for watching ours. Happy hunting.